Today I'll be showing you how to make natural homemade products that will get your room or house smelling amazing in minutes. All of these homemade products are super easy, affordable and toxin free. I think one of the most important aspects of living a healthy life is to live in a chemical and toxin free environment, so I really hope you enjoy these. The first thing we'll be making is an organic coconut melt. So you'll need a glass melting pot and a candle, which I didn't show, some coconut oil, essential oil of your choice, I'm using lavender as it has a calming effect, and a dropper if your oil does not already have a built in one. So the first thing you want to do is place two heaped teaspoons of coconut oil into your melting pot. Then add your essential oil. I think I ended up adding two whole squirts of lavender, but add as much or as little as you'd like. I like my products to smell pretty strong. Then combine it all. Place a candle under your melting pot to heat up the mixture and melt the oil. So once your oil is melted, you should be able to smell the aromas. I also like to add some real lavender petals to my melt. I think it looks really pretty and it has a beautiful soothing scent. For the next product you'll need an orange, cinnamon sticks and some cloves. We're only going to need half an orange for this recipe, so with this one we're making an orange spice simmer. So start by cutting the orange into thin slices. Seriously this couldn't be easier, simply place all the ingredients into a small pot. Add enough boiling water that all of your ingredients are covered and place onto the stove and let your mixture simmer for as long as you have company or as long as you want the smell. The aromas should infuse your kitchen in seconds. Once your guests are gone or you don't want to keep your stove running anymore, you can actually drink this mixture as a really nice tea and it actually tastes really delicious. Next we have my absolute favourite product, Ginger Lily Room Spray. So for this you'll need an empty spray bottle, vodka or regular rubbing alcohol, and your choice of essential oil. Today I'm using Ginger Lily and Lemon. Fill your spray bottle 3 quarters full with filtered water. Then add around 1-2 to two teaspoons of vodka. I think I did like 2 dropfuls. Then add as much or as little essential oil as you'd like. I think I ended up putting around 50 drops in mine, but it really depends how strong your oil is. Now shake it up to combine all your ingredients. I also like to label my sprays because I have a few different scents and I use specific ones when I'm in different moods. This one is absolutely amazing and it's definitely my new favourite, I really love it. Our last homemade natural creation is going to be a lavender oil diffuser. So you're going to need almond oil or safflower oil. Rattan sticks, I recommend not using bamboo skewers because they don't really work, so try to get your hands on proper reeds. Vodka or rubbing alcohol, and your choice of essential oil, so I'm going to use lavender again to complement my coconut melt I made earlier. Then just a small pot, making sure the opening is only tiny. Start by filling your pot three quarters full of almond oil, so pretty much just up to here. Add a small dash of vodka. Then add as much lavender oil as you'd like, again depending how strong you want the smell. Mix it up with a rattan stick and place the reeds in there. Once the mixture has settled, place somewhere in your room and then flip the reeds upside down to start the aroma process. You'll need to flip the reeds every couple of weeks or so to keep the smell um, going around your room, but it's totally up to you how often you actually flip the reeds. I just had one more tip for you guys and it's completely free and ridiculously easy. I love having fresh flowers or plants in my room, but being a uni student sometimes I just can't afford them. 
so I decided to go into my backyard and find my favourite large green leaves. Not only do they brighten up my room and add a nice pop of green, but the larger leaves are actually from a ginger plant, so now I wake up to the smell of ginger leaves, and it's really nice and refreshing. Guys, I had so much fun making this video and I hope you really enjoyed it. And good luck making your room smell amazing.